Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today it's this new Ram Rider deck, 3.9 Elixir. It's pretty heavy, but if you cycle everything except for the Mega Knight, it's actually a pretty quick deck. So jumping into this first one against Jewels, uh, we don't have Ram Rider to start out, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, we can always slow row a Mighty Miner in the back. Um, you always have um, the Mega Knight and the uh, row delivery. Um, to deal with Swarm and any uh, big pushes. So he's going to go with Mortar. Um, I'm going to go Goblins back here. And then let's see what he does. Um, this deck does struggle sometimes against a slightly faster deck. But I'm going to go Ram Rider right here. And I think this should be pretty good. So he's got uh, Mighty Miner as well. So we're actually going to make a connection which is going to be really solid for us. Then I'm going to go Magic Archer and Road Delivery. And we don't, ideally we don't have, um, like we would use goblins, but we didn't have it. I'm a tornado, his hog rider to the king tower. Um, unfortunately, he does get a hit, but it is possible to um, be able to prevent the hog rider from getting a hit. Uh, so next time, hopefully I can make that happen. Uh, the magic archer is going to widow down um, the, the musketeer. So I'm just going to let the musketeer go. And I'm going to go mighty miner here and hopefully draw the ice spirit. And then gonna go with I'm gonna go earthquake right here and then only afterwards will I go uh, Ram Rider because um, I think that will pull the that would pull the Ram Rider I'm gonna go uh, Mighty Miner bomb and then hopefully deal some damage on his Mighty Miner and then we're gonna go uh, let's see what he does if he doesn't do anything I'm gonna go goblins right here I'm actually gonna go Mega Knight here to knock back the hog rider and along with the King Tower that should actually be a pretty good defense and then um, let's see what else he plays. I might go Ram Rider right here just to uh, apply pressure on the other lane. And unfortunately, we don't have a card like Zap, but we're able to make one uh, solid connection right there, which is going to be really solid. Um, I'm going to go Royal Delivery. Okay, I'm going to go Royal Delivery and then Tornado and hopefully prevent any ta uh, damage on our Princess Tower, which we do. So that's really solid. Um, defense. He cycles back to another uh, Musketeer. We're going to go Magic Archer in the back going down the right. And this split lane is not my favorite, but I'm going to go Goblins right here. And I'm going to go a Mega Knight right behind. And this should be pretty solid defense, honestly. I'm going to go Ram Rider here as well, because I think he's out of uh, buildings. So hopefully we can make a connection. So we do make a charge connection, which is really solid. We're up 800 damage. Um, heading into um, the rest of this. Let's see. I'm going to go Goblins right here. And then I'm going to go Magic Archer. I'm going to go Ram Rider to take care of that. And then it's actually going to slow down the, uh, the Hog Rider as well, which is going to be really good defense, surprisingly. Um, we prevent any damage there, and we're still up. So we're going to go um, Goblins right here. And then we're going to go Earthquake. And then we're going to go Magic Archer to take out the rest of that. Um, and then we're going to go... Let's see. We might go Mighty Miner for his Mighty Miner, actually. And I'm going to go Ram Rider here. Get my Tornado ready. He's probably going to get a hit, but that's going to be all right. Um, we prevent a lot of the damage um, on that left side. So we're going to have to play this pretty... Okay, I don't know why he would drop his Mortar right there because we're just going to Earthquake it uh, for some free chip damage. And then we're going to get ready for another one of his pushes. I'm going to go Goblins right here. I'm actually going to pull everything back. And I missed the Hog Rider, unfortunately. Uh, new play by myself, but that's all right. going to go uh, Ram Rider. going to get the Earthquake ready for his Mortar. Um, so he doesn't go Mortar, which is kind of unfortunate. But I, f I do force him to go Zap as well. So that's a ton of uh, Elixir on his part. I'm going to go... Uh, Mighty Miner going the other way. Gonna go Goblins here. I'm gonna go um, Mega Knight for his Musketeer. And I think um, we're gonna go Ram Rider as well. And then that should be pretty solid for us, actually. Gonna go um, Magic Archer. And I'm gonna Tornado everything and actually apply some pressure on the other lane, which might be kind of odd, but I think this should work out pretty well for us, actually. Um, gonna go Goblins right here. And then hopefully only um, give one hit. Then we're gonna go uh, Ram Rider here. And then we're going to go Earthquake for a potential um, Mortar. So he pulls it really far, which is really good and uh, well played on his part. 
but I think we're going to end up uh, with a victory here because he doesn't have any way of real direct damage and we get the charge anyways with the Ram Rider so that's a solid dub um, going all the way down to 5 seconds left in overtime. So as you can see with this deck you can go split lane. This deck obviously is better with um, going the same lane because of uh, the counter pressure you can get with the Mega Knight and the Mighty Miner and then you add the Ram Rider as well. So unfortunately again we don't have the Ram Rider with us but I think um, if this is a Psycho deck Let's see what kind first. Uh, I'm going to cycle goblins in the back. So he's got one elixir skeletons and the bats. And that. So oh, I think it's going to be expo. It's like one of my least favorite decks to, to play. Um, he's got earthquake as well. This is absolutely wild. Um, I think he might go log. Probably. Uh, let's see. If it is expo, we do have, um, we do have uh, earthquake. Yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be Expo with that. Um, yeah, unfortunately... Oh, no, it's not. I stand corrected. So, hopefully the Mega Knight um, is going to put in some work on this. We are behind because of all that uh, chipping he did at the beginning. But he's going to be able to cycle back to so many defenses. It's going to be kind of annoying. Um, so, hopefully we'll be able to pull out this win. Um, I'm going to... Wait for some elixir, and then I'm gonna go Ram Rider. Let's see. Let's see what he what he uses to counter it. Um, that's not gonna be enough. He has to go something else. Okay, so I'm gonna take that um, all day, any day. We're gonna get a ton of damage here, actually. I'm gonna go Mighty Miner. Oh, I placed the Mighty Miner too far back. So I'm gonna have to go Magic Archer here, and hopefully get some chip damage as well. I think that takes it out, but I'm gonna go Earthquake. So, new play by myself gives him an extra uh, couple hits from the Mortar. So that's not going to be a problem because we're going to go Royal Delivery on top of this. And I think take out the Archer Queen. So now, going heading into Double Elixir, I think we're going to be alright. Um, but he cycles back to another one already, which is pretty wild. But hopefully we can get back to another Ram Rider right here. And then take another... Okay, so it doesn't take a hit, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so we're going to go Mega Knight right here. I think we should get a hit. Nice. So that Archer Queen um, ability does take a while to load sometimes. Um, so I'm going to go Earthquake. And I'm going to go Mega Knight on top of this uh, Archer Queen. And I think should be able to take it out. So this is going to be really solid for us. Uh, that He's going to have a lot of distractions for that. But I'm going to go Mighty Miner. And I'm going to go uh, Ram Rider right here actually. And I think we should be okay here. I'm going to go Goblins. I think that takes the, the hit. I'm going to go Earthquake. And then we should be alright now. Um, that should take out the Archer Queen. And then we have uh, Mega Knight that we can um, use as a distraction. Let's see. I'm just going to go Mega Knight preemptively. And if Siri would stop activating, that'd be great. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to go uh, Ram Rider right here. I'm going to go uh, Magic Archer. And really just force out um, hit, uh, the mortar going the wrong direction. So we're going to probably cycle goblins right here. And then get ready for another uh, potential mortar with the earthquake. Let's see. Yeah, so we're going to go earthquake right here. And then we're going to go ram rider. And that should prevent another mortar hit. So that's going to be really solid. And I'm going to go uh, magic archer. And I think we should get uh, a few chip damage right there and then Earthquake and that's going to be a good game well played against a motorcycle deck with the uh, Archer Queen. So this deck is pretty versatile on defense. It can handle a lot of things. Um, one of the main weaknesses of this deck will be Lava Hound. So hopefully we don't play any Lava Hound decks um, in, this in this video. But let's see if we can keep up our win streak here. We're at 2-0 currently. I'm going to start out with Ram Rider pretty aggressively. Um, so he's got Skeleton King, so this should, we should be alright here because uh, we have Mega Knight and we have uh, Magic Archer, we have the Road Delivery. So let's see, I don't think he would play it here, but I, I'm just going to drop the Mega Knight. So he actually does use the ability, which is going to be really solid for us, because that's two Elixir down the drain just to whittle down my uh, Mega Knight's health. So the Mega Knight is going to take out the Barb. And I think might even get a hit. Okay, so it forces out um, an Ice Wizard as well. 
So if we can cycle back to another Ram Rider, I think we're going to be pretty good. Um, so that's going to take that out. I'm actually going to go uh, Goblins here. So on the inside, you'll always get an extra hit. Um, learned that from uh, Sir Tag, actually. But I'm going to go uh, Mighty Miner right here. And then let's see what he does. Um, I'm going to go Ram Rider as well. And then, yeah, so I figured he would do that. So I'm going to go Earthquake for all of his uh, stuff, including the uh, Tombstone. And then we should have pretty good uh, counter pressure right here. Because we have a full health uh, Mighty Miner. And I'm actually going to hopefully activate it. Okay, so I'm a little bit late, but we get a ton of chip damage right there against the uh, Princess Tower. So we're going to wait for that Phoenix Egg to die. And he doesn't drop anything, so we're just going to let it be. And 15 seconds left, just about heading into a uh, double elixir. We're gonna cycle goblins at the bridge again. And let's see what else he does. Um, so I'm actually gonna go Ram Rider the other lane. So he can't, um, he can't provide, uh, he has to provide some support on that side. So he actually has Earthquake as well, which is pretty solid. So I'm gonna wait a bit, then I'm gonna drop the Earthquake. Then that should be able to take everything out right there. Then whatever's left of uh, this push, gonna go road delivery. And then that should be pretty good defense for us. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go Magic Archer, Ram Rider. That's gonna get chip damage right on the tower, which is solid. Then hopefully I can go Goblins to protect the uh, Magic Archer. And that's super solid because we're getting a ton of damage right there. And I think the, um, yeah, the Phoenix will unfortunately uh, respawn. But I think if we can take most of the stuff out um, with the Earthquake, then I think we'll be good. Um, I'm going to go uh, Road Delivery there. I missed both of them, which is just a complete noob mistake. But I think with this, we should be okay. That should take out the Phoenix Egg. I'm um, going to go Ram Rider here. And then I think with that, should be able to take out the Phoenix Egg. Yeah, so we're in a bit of a tough spot actually. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to go Earthquake. So he's going to get a ton of damage here and he's playing really well actually. Uh, so hopefully we can pull this game out. We haven't been able to uh, get our offense going much at all. But I think, oh that was a really good tornado on, on our opponent's end. I'm going to go Road Delivery again right here and then take that out. And then we're going to have to go with Ram Rider and that... Um, Ice Wizard is really throwing us in for a loop. So hopefully with this Earthquake, we can prevent a lot of damage. Um, but I think this is going to be a good game well played here. Our opponent played really well. Uh, we couldn't get our uh, offense going for the second half of the game. So we'll hop into another one and see if we can bounce back and end this video uh, on a win. So in this last one against uh, Tito Mike, let's see what we got. Um, I might go Ram Rider just to start out because we have it in our hand. Um, let's see what he's got to respond. So he spits archers in the back. It's actually under level uh, archers and an under level uh, mega, uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. So I'm kind of curious as to see what he's running in this deck. I'm going to go goblins in the middle. And the goblins almost lagged and cost me uh, probably a couple hits and maybe even the game. But luckily it dropped down in time. I'm going to go, wow, Golem, okay. I'm going to go Mega Knight, see if I can force out some Elixir at the beginning. Um, hopefully he doesn't ignore this because I might be in trouble. But that's actually going to take out the Firecracker and it's going to lock and actually hit the Princess Tower. So that's going to be really solid for us. Hopefully the Mega Knight, okay, so he's it forces that out, which is going to be really solid. I'm going to go Mighty Miner. Then I'm going to get ready for a Road Delivery for his Dark Prince. Oh, that was a really good a Tornado on his part again. So hopefully that takes that out quickly. Then the Mighty Miner is going to re-engage on the Golem and completely shred that Golem right there. Um, so we're going to have really good counter push with this. Uh, we should have about 5 Elixir heading to the bridge. So with the Ram Rider as well, I don't know how he's going to drop this, how he's going to stop this. Um, that's not going to be enough. I'm going to go with the Mighty Miner Bomb and then actually apply some pressure on the other lane as well. And we actually take out his uh, right tower with the... Um, Mighty with the uh, Ram Rider and the Magic Archer. I'm actually going to activate King Tower right here. And then, oh wow, I completely whiffed that like a noob. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we do have his Princess Tower down, but that uh, King Tower activation would help us a lot uh, against the Golem. So let's see what he plays here. I'm going to Psycho Earthquake. 
and I did that because you know we were ahead a bit on Elixir. Um, he drops Golem going down the left lane, so we're gonna go Magic Archer, and so our defense here ideally is Magic Archer, uh, Mega Knight, and the Mighty Miner. So I'm gonna go Mighty Miner right here, and I'm gonna go Mega Knight, drop it on everything. So hopefully that can take that most of that out. I'm gonna tornado the golem back actually. And gonna go road delivery. And then, yeah, that's gonna be really solid defense. Uh, the golem barely even got to the tower, only the golemites did. So I'm gonna go magic archer here to hopefully snipe out that um, uh, archer, um, the firecracker. And then we're back to another mega knight here. So if needed, I'm gonna to tornado everything back again. And then I'm gonna go Mighty Miner. And I'm gonna go Road Delivery as well. And that should take out the Archers and the, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And I'm gonna have the Goblins in the back to take out the uh, Dark Prince. And that's gonna be a good game well played against the Golem uh, Dark Prince deck. So, as you can see with this deck, it's super versatile. Um, the Mighty Miner is amazing for melting um, any ground uh, tanks. And the Mega Knight is great for Swarm. Road Delivery is great for Swarm. Uh, the Ram Rider is amazing uh, to be able to charge through it and do a ton of damage to your opponent's tower. And you have Earthquake, of course, to take out any cannons or Teslas or any uh, buildings that your opponent may have. So if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, give this deck a try. Let me know in the comment section what you think below. And I'll see you next time.